Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today I wanted to review the Datsun 510 in golf livery that was released earlier this year in 2022 from the RLC. This piece is very interesting from the collector community because as much anticipation and excitement that it had coming in, I'm now seeing just as much backlash and resentment for this piece as people are starting to receive this. And to be perfectly honest, it's starting to sound like a broken record because the three or four things that everybody says they don't like about this car are all the same. And I'm almost wondering if it's just everybody being led down the same path by the typical influencers. So yes, this Golf Datsun 510 doesn't come in Spectre Flame Blue, which I know everybody likes, and it is an RLC piece, so that's just something that we've become accustomed to. It's another Datsun 510. I know a lot of people are tired of that and they'd rather have some new castings, but again, it's a Datsun 510, people. We shouldn't be complaining about that. It doesn't have a sticker, and I'll admit, I was one of the first few to be pretty upset about that as well too, but again, just look at the model, guys. The attention to detail, the acrylic case, the premiumization that Hot Wheels and Mattel put on this car. No sticker, no problem, guys. And even with all the shortcomings of this release, at least based on the collector community, this car is still pulling a premium in the secondary market. So right now, this car is still selling for pretty much $100, which is essentially 150% of what you paid from a retail standpoint. So regardless of what the naysayers are saying, this car is still hugely popular and very sought after. So let's take this piece out of the acrylic case. Let's do a deep dive into all the details and what makes this car great to put this whole conversation to a rest. So here it is guys, out of pack, out of the acrylic case. I do got the hood popped open and there is a rubber band on this so just make sure you take that out before it does any damage to the paint. All I can say is there's nothing to not like about this car, guys. And I'm not even a golf fan. I don't have a golf collection or anything like that. I do have a pretty extensive 510 collection, which is why I had to have this piece. But man, it just, it looks good. Again, all the details are there. Even into the interior, you got the orange roll bar, headlights, taillights, good wheel choice with the Watanabe's. I mean, this is the definition of a premium model. Yes, it doesn't have a lot of things, but I think every 164 Hot Wheel that we purchase has something that keeps us wanting. And moving forward, I do see the value of this car going up. I mean, as with any Datsun 510 release, especially these exclusive RLC releases with the opening hood, they always demand a lot of interest and strong secondary market value. I don't see how this car can't reach the ranks of, for example, the Blue Real Riders RLC release a few years back. That one currently goes for about $150 to $200. We do have the Gold RLC that came out just about a year or two ago. That one also has the opening hood. And that one is still surprisingly around that $100 range. So this one being a fairly recent release is exactly as much as that release. And again, this one has a lot higher population. So we will see you guys. Time will tell what this car will do for us. But again, I don't think it's one that you should sleep on. If you can buy it, if you already have one from the RLC website, if you can trade for one, get a couple extras, whatever you have to do, it's definitely one to get into your collection and I think the long-term value on it will definitely pay itself off. Even with all the negative feedback that this car is receiving, I think it's safe to say that you can look beyond it and think long-term with this car. So that's what I got for you guys today. Leave it in the comments what you think about this Golf Datsun 510. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my review. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.